All right, good morning, gentlemen and gentle ladies. We are with Southern Captain Billy. Can you see him? <laughs> we're with Southern miss. Captain Billy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're down here in the Low Country, and Billy uh, is telling me there's an old home site. You think maybe? We think. Because you dug a little bit of a pit, got some bricks and bricks and some oyster shells. Yeah, oyster shells. It's a little bit thick though, isn't it? Yes, it's very thick. <laughs> Why do you say we go over there, take some shovels, dig around a little bit, see what we can find? Because you have found stuff in the area. Yeah, found we like found cannonball and yeah. buttons and yeah, civil, uh, buttons, civil buttons stuff uh, like that. out. We'll uh, grab the detectors and maybe wander, <laughs> try to wander around through the bushes. Just, yeah, it's, yeah it's, I have it's, to get some ar armadillo hide to hunt this spot. But <laughs> All right, so we're back in the bushes, and this is a little uh, little hole that Billy dug that I'm going to show you right now and show you why we're going to uh, going to test this a little bit more. Uh, you can see it goes down a good ways. There's lots of oyster shells. Now, oyster shells out here aren't as important as in the Shenandoah Valley because they can get oysters 100 feet from here. Uh, so they're everywhere. This could be Native American, colonial, or Civil War, or, you know, last year. Look at this little collection of hoes that they found right here. You, you really only started detecting this spot, right? Yeah, we just recently, we came in and explored it uh, a few months ago and then we found a thimble and some uh, flat buttons and a couple musket balls. We never did come back in here. And then last night we just decided just to come scout it out again. And I found this and a, and a thimble and we decided that uh, we needed to check it out a little bit more. When he says last night, he means last night. Uh, we were in camp and you know, I, I, I was tired so I went to bed, but uh, Billy and Jeremy, who was over there wandering around, came out here uh, like at midnight, yeah. just goofing off, I guess. Yeah, and bored, yeah. needed something to do. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't bored, I was sleeping. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and start digging this out. I'll just let the camera roll and watch what Billy does. We're gonna see if we can find any buttons or, you know, cannonballs, muskets or bayonets. Ready? There you go. I'm just gonna work the camera, let him dig. <laughs> he, he, he dressed up like it's winter time because the bugs are so bad out here. Although they haven't gotten me yet, so maybe I'm just lucky. Well, we maybe I don't smell so good too, so oh, yeah. that could be it. I'll show you this too before we get going. This is actually, uh, this is a deer stand right here where a deer hunter would sit up there. I guess you could hunt other things from it too, but that's a really nice one actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, running a deer stand, so there's probably a house right here. All right, so we've been digging for about one minute and I need to take a break. But we also need to show you something. I can see we're just kind of throwing this stuff out. We haven't checked it with the detector yet. But right in here is a bone. And I want to know, is it human? Got a little bone here. I don't know what that goes to. You can see it's been broken off. Probably uh, boiled and I'm not sure what it is though. It's definitely a nice trash pit, European American bricks. Uh, don't see any pottery yet. And like I said, we're going to run the machines over it in just a minute. We're just going to clean this out. First, we're going to dig it down until we're out of the artifact layer. And then we'll see if there's any artifacts, <laughs> see if there's any artifacts in it besides bones and yeah. oyster shells. So we're still digging away in some little pieces of black glass. All of a sudden, I hear this. <laughs> there we go. I look over and there's Billy pointing down in the hole and his fingers are shaking. <laughs> there you go. Now, that's a good sign right there. That's that feather edge which was popular, you know, in the late 1700s, you know, earlier 1800s. But finding this in here tells us that the people who lived in this house probably had money. So they would have been in some iron there. So they would have been losing artifacts, buttons, gold coins, uh, pipe stamps. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily in that order or quantity, uh, but yes, that's a really good sign that tells us that we're on potentially a really good site. Still going down and we're going to keep on trucking until we hit the bottom. A few more shovelfuls. We're all, I think we're getting close to the bottom. It changes right there, but look at that, a big old piece of uh, China. That's a little bit different than this feather edge stuff, but yeah, that's a beautiful piece right there. So we've got different, different kinds of china here, you know, all old stuff. All right, so I have it dug out down to the, um, down to the bottom, and I want to show that to you. Then Billy's going to run the detector over it, and we're going to listen to that together for the very first time to see if there's buttons and gold coins here. But what I wanted to show you is this. This is the artifact layer. Uh, when it gets down to here, this is, uh, we're out of it. This is like natural soil. Um, you know, bare feet were pitter pattering on top of this at one time. I did notice a bunch of broken glass right here in this corner. 
I thought what's interesting is probably a bottle that probably broke it, but it's like little tiny piece, pieces. Well, it almost looks like charcoal, but I'm pretty sure that's glass. Yeah, that's melted glass, I think. Really hard. That interesting little artifact, little uh, artifact layer right there. It's really, really bizarre. All right, my man. What do we got? All right, so we moved it? Yep. What is it? <laughs> Alright, so I'm having one. Alright. Looks like it might be a coin. Or oh, a really nice button. Yeah, because I can feel the shank on the back, so we know that's gonna be a button. But it's really shiny. I mean that's gonna be a beauty right there, man. Let's see, I don't hate to rub it too much, but let's just a little bit. Shh, don't tell anybody we're doing this. That's a beauty! Look at that I thing! Can. Real nice yeah, product. that's awesome. Definitely top pocket fine. <laughs> there you go, top pocket. Let's put it over here. We'll click, we'll get these cleaned up. I think we'll put everything we're finding right here. So what we'll do before we cover this out, we'll spread it out, check the layers as we backfill. Think maybe. Let me just spread it out a little bit for you. Kind of spread it out. See what we got. Now I could get the pin pointer out and go over this, but we're going to hear every piece of nail. That artifact layer, I mean, just looks absolutely edible. That is just wonderful. Man, there's a lot in that part of this dirt. Might be something there. All right, what do you think? Dig some more? Oh, yeah. Give us about. I was going to say five, but maybe more like 30 and yeah, maybe a little make drink break. And <laughs> what? Let's, let's make it realistic. Make it two. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. We'll be right back with you. All right. So we've got to dug down a little bit more, slightly out of breath. Probably not my ticker, but you never know. I think it's just because it's spring and I'm out of shape. We have not checked this soil yet or any of that, and we will do that. But I just want to show you what we're dealing with. So we've got to dug down here. You can see the upper layer is almost not, not too much in it. Then we had some charcoal, so whatever was here probably burned. You know, the layer's pretty thick right through here, and it keeps going down. This is a, more or less a natural soil. There's nothing really in there, but you can see it's, it's still it's cutting down that way. So this part over here was dug out at one time, and this wasn't. So we're not sure if it's going to be turning off that way or turning off this way. There seems to be more artifacts on this side. So that could be what's going on. Is that bone? What is that? Uh, I think it's, it's just like a weird brick. Never seen anything quite like that. So let's go ahead and get the metal detectors out. We'll listen to what we have here, and uh, we'll either continue this or um, get into something else if we're not finding too many artifacts. Uh oh, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. I know that sound. Oh, he's so excited. He's so excited. <laughs> uh oh, I dropped it. Uh-oh, that means it's mine. Oh, that's my camera, sorry. <laughs> I didn't get it. All right. See if we're not trying to drop Careful. It. It's there. What is it? It's an oyster shell. I see it. <laughs> piece of brass. Piece of brass. All right, so we got a little thin piece of brass. Um, got a design on it, but my eyeballs aren't too good. Billy's going to look at it for us since he's a young man and tell us what the design is. It's an eagle with a pitchfork? Yes. No. <laughs> it looks like uh, branches, um, like either grape branches or all the... Um, fern branches something like okay. that. okay so we'll get we'll get a picture of that let's put it here with our good stuff do any good out there okay so about as good as us <laughs> and we dug that hole <laughs> <laughs> all right billy one button one little piece of brass all right we're going to uh turn the machine off here we're going to talk about what we're going to do next uh we'll definitely check this soil as we're back filling this uh, but we might move because one button, yeah. you know, a little piece of brass, you can probably do better than that. Maybe where you're standing, 
might be a pot of gold coins. Since Billy hit some other stuff over there when he was out here thimble and stuff, we're going to go ahead and just jump in here. We're just going to dig a trench out that direction, just kind of pulling everything back, but not throwing it out of the hole. That way we're kind of backfilling as we go. Now, as we're digging that trench that way, I want you to notice one thing. I'm kind of like Mr. Gary, and I have a shovel man. <laughs> was... I stole it from you! <laughs> He said he was going to use that on me, but I ruined it for him. <laughs> Some giant bricks, too. Check this one out over here. Let me throw it aside. Big old bricks. That's a monster. <laughs> That's even bigger. Look at that. Wow. And we're detecting this as we're going along, too. We stop every couple minutes and just check it, but so far, just iron. So we're working that direction, and we're starting to get in, getting into some more uh, ceramics. There's a beautiful piece right there, and I think I saw another piece down there, but, you know, we can find it later, but it just seems like there's more artifacts on that direction, and I think we're going to hit the mother load another five, six hours of digging. Yeah, probably. You just Unfortunately, it is it's getting hot because you know it's getting later in the day. But stand and hold the camera. And yeah, that's, I'm, that's all I'm going to do, man. That's all I'm going to do. You mean Jeremy take care of everything? Yeah. <laughs> just like every day, right? We'll take care of the chick. <laughs> wow, that's that's really cool. That oh, one. Okay. Never seen one quite like that. Oh, nice. Now Billy has something there with a pinpointer, but again, that's going to hit everything. You know, that's going to hit. Uh, is that a nail? Yeah, curled over nail. Curled over nail. That's kind of interesting, though. All right, we have it. It's in there. <laughs> I'll let you... That's probably it right there, I think. No? Nope. Man, it was small. Probably a little... There, there is a button, I think. Yep. All right, let's see what we got. So, it was a little flat button. You don't look as excited as you were before. <laughs> I'm getting it's, tired, it's Jig. It's, it's freaking hot out here. Big with, <laughs> with eagles and anchors right, okay. and stuff like that. And you know what? So do I, but <laughs> I like this little button. Okay, number two button. Awesome. All right, so they're digging away, and I'm like looking. I don't see anything. But Billy's like, whoa, stop, 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 stop. Just get the camera. So I have no idea what he's talking about. Could be a snake down there. Could be a water moccasin. <laughs> but let's see what he's talking about. What you talking about? Oyster shells. Oh, that's that green stuff. You know, all these different kinds of this China, this expensive China. I think uh, I think we're on the right trail here. Yeah, I was more excited over that than I was the button. Yeah. <laughs> Billy and Jeremy are still working on this area where the brick is, and they're going to dig over across the top of it to see if there could be a, a floor or something there. We just don't know. Yeah, it's got some mortar on it, and uh, so they're going to dig there. I dug a hole back here. You can see that dark soil goes way down. I mean, that's a nice deep artifact layer. See this charcoal all the way to the bottom of it. And I also went this way, and this is really interesting. So they're digging the bricks there. And right here, we have a layer of, it's clay. It's like really gummy clay. And it's just there, it's not there, it's not there. A few feet this direction, it's all pure white sand. If you look there, it's not a very deep artifact layer, pure white sand. Come over here a little bit, and it drops down another 10 inches below uh, that hole over there. And you can see these artifacts in there too. There's uh, charcoal and whatnot. So you got kind of a hole over here, pure white sand down at the plow line. Big bunch of clay right here. And the bricks and the artifacts right here. So if any of you guys have an explanation as to why I'm seeing that or we're seeing that, please let us know in the comments because I am absolutely mystified. So what do you think, Billy? we're done for now <laughs> yeah so this is what we've done and we got that hole dug out there kind of dug over here a little bit i've already backfilled those spots i think what we're going to do for now is we're going to just maybe do some surface uh detecting this is kind of in the middle of the day and it's getting hot but we're definitely going to come back here if for no other reason to fill it in yeah. and we'll check the soil as we fill it in and if we find anything we'll fire the camera back up but i think for now what do you think yeah. yeah, a little cooler workforce. <laughs> that was a pun. I didn't even mean it. <laughs> Climb for some cooler work on ice, right? We'll see you a little bit later. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. 
She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or someone.